हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कांसेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ये मैन लैंड फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एट थर्टी परसेंट फॉर थ्री ईयर्स What is the difference between the interest earned by the man in second year only and the interest earned by the man in third year only? This problem is based on compound interest. I have seen most of the aspirants are afraid of attempting compound interest problem. They are able to solve simple interest problem easily, but when it comes to compound interest problem, they are quite doubtful. See, just because compound interest involves powers, you no need to be afraid, guys. Just stick to the basic start in this lecture. Fifteen minutes lecture, you can solve any problem from whatever the basics you know. Try approaching the problem that way. For most of you, this question may seem bit lengthy and maybe bit difficult because it involves compound interest and are so many confusing words are mentioned here. Again, problem may be bit lengthy. It may take thirty seconds extra, but if you stick to the basics, you can solve any problem, my friends. Okay. Now let's solve this problem from the basics, whatever we know. Now we have principal amount P. This is rate of interest. Now this P becomes one Roman one after one year. One is the amount after one year. At this rate, P became one after one year. Clear, right? Now two is the amount after two years. After two years, P became two. After three years. This principal became three, my friends. Kindly note, these are not interest, my friends. These are the amounts P became after first, second, and third year. At R percent compound interest, principal amount P will become this much after n years, my friends. Okay, P into one plus R by hundred power n. And for interest and over those n years will be, we have to subtract the principal amount from the Total amount it became after n years, my friends. Okay, that is p into one plus r by hundred power n minus p. Clear, right? Now see this difference is the interest and in first year. One minus p is the interest and in first year. Two minus p will be interest and for two years, my friends. But here we are asked interest and by the man in second year only. That means. This difference, my friends. Okay, two minus one. This is the interest earned by the man in second year only. Now three minus p will be interest earned for three years. Now what about the interest earned by the man in third year only? That is this difference, my friends. Okay, that is a three minus two. Now we want a difference between this value and this value. This value and this value, my friends. Now see few observations here. Interest earned in second year will be always greater than first year. When it comes to compound interest, you are having interest on interest, my friends. When it comes to simple interest, you are having interest on principal only. But when it comes to compound interest, principal and interest on interest. See in this year you had interest on the interest and during first year also, my friends. Similarly, interest and in third year will be greater than interest and in second year because you are having interest on interest here. Clear, right? Now let's come back to the problem. Okay, so this value will be bigger than this value. We want their difference, my friends. Okay, so required value would be three minus two minus two minus one. This is three minus two into two. Plus one, my friends. Clear, right? Now amount after three years will be p into one plus r by hundred power three minus two. Amount after two years that is p into one plus r by hundred whole square plus amount after one year. Okay, so this is p into one plus r by hundred. Let's not substitute the value of p and r here because there is so much to simplify. I am taking p into one plus r by hundred common. We have one plus r by hundred all square minus two into one plus r by hundred plus one. Now p into one plus r by hundred a plus b whole square formula, my friends. Okay, a square plus b square 
plus 2ab okay that is 2 into r by 100 minus 2 minus 2 r by 100 plus 1 now see 1 plus 1 2 okay minus 2 they got cancelled 2 r by 100 2 r by 100 they got cancelled now we have p into 1 plus r by 100 into r by 100 whole square you can note down this formula again this is some isolated case my friends okay so you can use this formula to find out the difference between the interest and by the man in second year only and the interest and by the man in third year only let's substitute the values now 4500 1 plus r is 30 into 30 by 100 whole square 0 0 cancels out 0 0 cancels out this is a 4500 13 by 10 into 9 by 100 okay 3 by 10 whole square my friends okay so 9 by 100 now see two zeros two zeros cancels out now see our answer is multiple of 9 there is no number in denominator which cancels 9 my friends okay which divides 9 so our answer is multiple of 9 and what is the divisibility rule of 9 some of the digits should be divisible by 9 right this is not divisible by 9 5 4 is divisible but 5 5 5 plus 5 10 that is 1 so it is not divisible 5 plus 2 not divisible 5 plus 2 7 6 plus 5 11 7 plus 11 that is 18 so 9 9 is divisible by 9 it can be our answer now this one 5 plus 3 plus 2 that is 9 it's divisible by 9 so it can also be our answer now see in denominator we have 10 10 is 2 into 5 this 10 doesn't get cancelled by any number in numerator my friends see for 10 to get cancelled we should have at least one even number in numerator we don't have any even number in numerator my friends okay 45 39 all are odd numbers we have multiple of 5 but we don't have multiple of 2 in numerator so this 10 doesn't get cancelled that means we will be having a decimal point in our answer my friends okay so our answer is see you can check this one see 532 is a even number my friends we don't have any number in numerator which is even so our answer cannot be d otherwise you could just multiply it may take 10 15 seconds more but i want you to learn these things how you can eliminate the options and arrive at the answers divisibility rules very very important last digit of a number my friends whether it is even or these things we have taught in number system they will come in handy at many places not just for csat my friends you take any exam if you want to arrive at the answer quickly then you must make use of number system concepts so very easy problem my friends all i did is just made use of the basics i know Problem can be a bit lengthier, but if you are good at basics, then you can solve any problem, my friends, okay?